TNA, international brand, global. You have Chris from London, Michael from Australia, here at the event here in Miami, TNA Lockdown Weekend. Guys, what's it like being here? You support TNA. What is it about TNA that you both like that you'll travel all this way to see their shows? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was a long trip. I mean, it's 14 hours just to LA for me and then a connecting flight. But it's all worth it because it is, they call it fan interaction, and it really is truly interactive. I mean, there's uh, less people here today, so this has been, like, the best fan interaction that I've been part of. Like, the lines are much shorter, and it's just been so much easier to get everything done and to meet everyone, get all this stuff signed. So it's been a really good day so far. I would mind it, you know, it's crazy, you know, I'm, I'm in there, you know, just talk, talk, talking to Jeff Hardy, you know, a guy that is, you know, the face of the company. Jeff Hardy, uh, you know, is an amazing artist, amazing singer, and, uh, you know, he's in there, you know, signing everything. So it's kind of amazing to, just to be here, you know, meet the rest of us, you know, meet the families, meet the guys backstage. So for me, it's just an honor to be here. Guys, I see also, I see the Dixieland. <laughs> Sir. A, a lot of the talent's been giving me a bit of grief about the Dixieland t-shirt. They're like, was that on sale? Was it in a brown bag? And I said, no, I paid full price. Please, <laughs> please forgive me. You're, gonna, you're here for interaction. You'll also be at the lockdown pay-per-view oh, sure. tomorrow. Is it like a vacation too when you do these trips? Or is it more, what is the basis? Is it more for the show, but then also the vacation? I think for me personally, because I, 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 you know, it's nice to, you know, to get somewhere nice and warm and but like, I just, you know, because like, I, I find behind the scenes, so it's nice to see them. So, you, you know, it's nice to have a trip here, but I also get to see old friends I haven't seen for like, you know, three or four months at a time. For me, it's wrestling first, vacation second. The sightseeing and stuff like that, that's secondary to the wrestling. I mean, it's just a bonus to me that it's in Miami, because like, I went to lockdown 2000, 2012, that was in Nashville. And no offense to the people of Nashville, but I wouldn't travel there just for a vacation. So, for me, it's wrestling first. How many shows have you guys been to with TNA? About? Oh, oh, well. I've been to the last seven pay-per-view weekends in a row. I've been to every single UK tour date. Um, so, uh, for about 20, 25 events. I've been to, this is my third lockdown event, and I've also been to a bunch of TV tapings and like one night only pay-per-views in Orlando as well. So, all I need now is an Australian tour. It's about time <laughs> that happens. Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida, that's where they have a lot of the tapings. Well, yeah. <laughs> They've just been to the UK. Yes. What was it like? I also met David from the UK yes. earlier. He was talking about that show, those shows. Yep. What was it like, TNA, the UK? Why are they such, it seems like a strong global brand as far as the UK and Australia? The UK fans are like the product of you know, world wrestling. You know, you know, we get WWE you know, every six months, but TNA are more fan friendly, more open. Like, like we have guys like you know, Jeff Hardy, MVP, the great Mutus is walking around the hotel. Um, it's crazy, like, the fans, you know, respect what, 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 what they're doing, they're wrestling company, not, you know, an entertainment company. I think, I think fans from countries like England and Australia, they appreciate it much more because we get less of it. American, the American market's much more saturated, so when a company like a, a TNA comes to the UK, for instance, they really appreciate it much more. Talking about Australia, who can you go to or what can fans in Australia do to try to get them over to Australia? Because I'm sure you're smart to the business, so you know maybe what needs to be done to get this ball rolling. I mean, maybe try to contact some of like the promoters in Australia to try to get something going. Um, the TV network down there that carries TNA, it's uh, Fuel TV on Foxtel, maybe try to get them involved. You know, take a bit of a team effort to make it happen, but from all reports, it is a chance in the future sometime. How big is it in Australia? How big is pro wrestling in general in Australia? Um, certainly not as big as it was like back in the heyday, but th there is still a market there. I mean, there's a lot of smaller Australian promotions that draw, you know, maybe two or three hundred every weekend around the country, so there is demand there. Um, when WWE comes down, they still draw like 10,000 plus to their shows, so th there's still a lot of uh, demand there for it. Magnus is the champion, and even though he's the bad guy, but how does that feel from a country standpoint? Now, I know everyone was booing him when they were at the UK tour because he's the bad guy, but does it add anything that he's a British wrestler and um, he was able to win this title? Yes and no. I mean, personally, I can't stand the guy. Um, but, you know, from a UK standpoint, you know, it's amazing to have someone, uh, you, know, a, you know, a world champion like Magnus. You know, we had, you know, uh, D David Boy beforehand, Way Barrett should have been champion, whatever it was. So to, to have someone like that, you know, breaking barriers in the business, fantastic for, for you know, for, for the UK fans. I want to again see some of the artwork. Did they also give you some artwork? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff was uh, in there. Like, Jeff, like, totally. Like, like, was this stuff that you already had or no, there? No, Jeff, Jeff, part of the deal. Part yeah, of the deal. Part part of the deal. Was to get, so let's hold up some okay, of this artwork. That's this is, one that Jeff did. There we go. That's perfect. 
That's amazing. Do you know who else does artwork? Which I just found out today, Samuel Shaw. Yeah, yeah. You see you guys yeah. art on all yeah, this, you know. <laughs> but Jeff, like Jeff, like when I was here, I think it was Matt Floyd. He actually did a live painting, and he's like, you know, a 3D artist. And then the final one is here. And I, I How is Jeff, Jeff to talk to? Amazing. Um, Jeff is one of these guys where he... he just seems down to earth. Yeah, Jeff, really like that. Yeah. Jeff will not leave that building until, until everyone signs. And, you know, Jeff Hardy is, you know, a true professional. And I can't tell him about, you know, about the guy. A lot of these guys have been really fan-friendly. I mean, Seema Iron for me was really good to talk to. All of them have been really fan-friendly. Well, most of them, anyway. <laughs> most. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Enjoy your time in Miami. Thank you very much.